Welcome back. Now we are going to talk about the next step in the on-page SEO process. So we looked at keyword research, then we moved on to title, then the meta description. If you haven't watched those sections, I strongly recommend you do that first because it has a huge impact in your on-page on SEO success. So moving on, we're going to talk about URL or Uniform Resource Locator. Okay, URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. Um, it's important that you optimize your URL, which is nothing but your domain name, forward slash, whatever the page is. Believe it or not, just by optimizing the keyword in your URL, there are many websites that have ranked pretty quickly. There are many pieces of content that have been um, ranked pretty quickly um, with just that one tweak. Neil Patel, one of the very popular search engine optimization gurus or digital marketing gurus um, has made a post about this telling that, you know, one of his old posts, all it required was change of URL and it, it, uh, it basically usurped or ranked uh, pretty quickly on Google search results. So definitely worth looking at. This is one, um, one step within the on-page SEO process that you want to pay, pay close attention to. How do we do this? It's very simple. Let's quickly switch to the computer screen here. So here we are on the computer screen. If you notice, if, um, if you go to the settings part on the left side, you're going to see something called permalinks. You click on this permalinks. Let me open this in a new tab. So permalinks, settings, and then permalinks. I'll open this in a new tab. Here we go. Right now, you see these are the different options that are there. Let me zoom in a little bit so that it's visible. If I go with the plain one, your website URL will look like this. It'll be yourwebsite.com forward slash question mark P equals to one, two, three, right? Now, what does a question mark P one, two, three actually represent? We don't know. See, Google will also have a hard time understanding what this uh, what, the, what this piece of content is actually about. So we don't use that. We uh, don't use the day and name, month and name, or numeric either. I highly recommend you to choose post name. If you notice right here, it says yourwebsite.com forward slash sample dash post. You see for SEO purposes, okay, for URL, URL, like I told you, stands for Uniform Resource Locator. Okay, so for the URL, you should choose, go to Settings, and then Permalinks, and within Permalinks, look for Post Name. Okay, choose this because you want your URL to be really descriptive. Okay, I'm going to show you quickly how this will look like. Firstly, let me show you how it will look like if I were to choose the plain option. I chose plain here, and then I'm just going to publish this blog post, this demo blog post, and see. Okay, let this be. I'm going to add a new blog post just to show you I'm going to say I'm going to call this demo post I'll just click outside keep an eye on the URL it's going to come up right here um, right now it shows okay I haven't saved it probably that's the reason so let's go ahead and save changes right here go back to this post add new I'm going to open this in a new tab right here. So we will type something like demo post. Okay, and then I click outside. Just keep an eye right here on the permalink section. You see it says question mark P equals to 2051. Apparently it's not descriptive. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, probably for WordPress, it has some code it is able to understand, but, but from a human being's perspective, if I'm coming to this page, I do not know what this actually represents. I don't know what this page, of, uh, what this page uh, content will be about. On the other hand, 
If I were to go back to my settings, permalink, choose post name. Now let me change this, save the changes. And I'm going to refresh this quickly. Reload. And I'm going to type demo post, just like we did before. Click outside. And there we go. You see, it's, it's a little more descriptive. That's what I mean. Right here, if you notice this, it actually says French language classes in San Antonio, if you just you know, move the arrow to the right. So that is more descriptive. This is exactly how it should be, OK? So let's look at this. How should your URL be? Number one, your URL must contain the keyword again. Make sure it is in lowercase, OK? If you paid attention right here on this blog post, all these letters are in lowercase, right? That's small letters. Remember that. Um, your URL must be in lowercase. Number three, each word in your URL must be separated by hyphens, OK? Meaning dash, you see? French dash language dash classes and so on and so forth. So every word should be separated by a hyphen. Uh, if there is an underscore, uh, Google has a hard time understanding. It, it thinks that it's a continuation of the text. So it's not a good idea. Using dash or the hyphens really separates one word from another. OK? And uh, yep, keep it short. Number four, keep it as short as possible. OK? Keep your headline. Keep your URL as short as possible. OK, so quick recap. Um, URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. You would want to go to your WordPress uh, dashboard, get into settings, and then get into permalinks, where it has multiple different options for your URL structure. Make sure your URL structure follows the post name. Post name is the right one, because that gives a descriptive post name um, URL for the for the blog post of the page, OK? So that's about URL structure. Next up, we are going to talk about uh, headings, which is another important step within your on-page SEO, OK? So, so far, we've covered four steps. Of course, step number zero is keyword research. Once you have the keyword, you are going to use the keyword in the title, meta description. And thirdly, now uh, we've looked at the URL. The next one is heading. So stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.